Hi friends, in the previous video we have seen uh, the event handler on click. So how we can handle the event using on click we have seen. And also we have seen the disadvantage of the on click event handler. That if you write more than one on click for, for any single element, you will, not, you will be not able to fire the both the events at a time. The method, the second method will override the methods previous method so only the last method will be executed in order to handle in order to overcome that one so javascript in javascript we have another uh, type of handling the events that is nothing but event listeners so listening to the event now let's see let's go to the some example now here i have a button now what i will try to do is i will take i will try to take that button uh, document dot you can say query selector of that button i got the button now let's assume i have two functions listener one oh sorry now let's assume that i have one function with listener one and what it will do it will just console console the output like listener one click so it will just console the output listener one and another one i have another listener listener two this one also will console just console that one as listener two click so i have two functions listener one and listener two now when the user clicks on that button i need to execute this function listener one and also this function listener two now how can I do? I need to take the button. Okay, button will have previously what we did on click is equal to we have did like this. Now what we will do? Add event listener. Okay, we are using button dot add event listener. So we need to mention the what type of event listener I want. I need to listen. Click event. You need to listen the click event. So if I listen to the click event, what I need to do? You can write directly function here or otherwise you can mention the function name. Listener 1. So remember that you don't need to call like this directly. If you call like that means immediately listener 1 will be executed. So we need to pass just the handler so that when the user, when the user clicks on that button, listener 1 function will be executed. In the same scenario, what I will try to do is, I will try to do the button dot add event listener click and i want to listen to the listener second second one this is are the two events how we can, now let's see the output so if i go to the console and if i go to the output i am clicking on this one now i am clicking on the button now if i click on the button one second yeah. now i will come here see now you will be able to i will remove the html so that it will be very clear to be see now if you see here both the events are both the functions are executing that means that single button is listening to the both the events previously in the previously with the event handler on click we are not able to use these two functions but but here using the event listener we are we are able to do the two things two functions we, we are able to do this one now after some time or some some time or after some some actions performed so you want to disable one of the event Okay, you want to remove one of the event listener. That means something like listener one, I want to remove. So we can also remove that event listener, listener one, so that listener two only will work from when that button is clicked. So if you want to remove that listener one, how we can do is, for example, I will write set timeout here. Set timeout. Okay, set timeout, one function will execute here. So that after two seconds, I want to re remove the event listener okay after three seconds let's resume after three seconds i want to remove the listener event how can i remove so button dot same like add event listener we will be having remove event listener we will be having remove event listener now what we can write here so you you can think that i can mention listener one like this but we cannot mention listener one the same like this for example this listener one function you can use it for click 
and also you can use it for mouse enter mouse hover or anything key up key down you can use it for any event listener i can't directly remove this like this remove event listener of listener one so for which one i need to remove i need do i need to remove for all the events or do i need to remove for the particular events so uh, the doubt will arise here so that is the reason we need to mention for which type of e for for this button what type of event i need to reserve for example for this button you can add it for key up key press mouse enter mouse over and all these things you can add the listener one now you need to mention here the type of event also so that is the reason we will mention it here click now if you mention the click here now for the click for after some three seconds of time for this button remove the listener one of this click event so you are mentioning now let's run this one now i am trying to click listener 2 listener 2 listener 2 c after three seconds we are uh, listener 1 event has been gone and only the listener 2 click is only the this functioning so this is the this is the how we can remove event listener and also we can add the event listener through add event listener and remove event listener so this is how we can do you can handle the events using event listener also if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you